Hello, this is Sadar Tamber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. A key aspect of regenerative medicine is orthobiologics, how to use them correctly, how to combine them, and how to choose the right patient and issue and when to use them. So a patient I treated yesterday is a mid-50-year-old woman who's a triathlete. She has a partial thickness tear of her hamstring uh, origin at the left hip. She was treated with bone marrow aspirate, concentrate stem cells, and platelet-rich plasma roughly three months ago. She has a 50% improvement in terms of her function, but not back to her full functional capacity. In addition, on ultrasound, she has evidence of healing of her tear, but she still has some smaller tears that are still present. So thinking about how to treat her condition, option one was to use platelet-rich plasma to try to consolidate her original bone marrow treatment. Option two was to actually combine platelet-rich plasma with an amniotic fluid product called Amniofix, which I believe can do a better job in her case of getting her that last bit to her full functional capacity as well as to progressively heal her injury on ultrasound as well. In addition, she also has some discomfort uh, in the actual hamstring muscle and on ultrasound she has some uh, mild changes in the muscle as well and so in deciding on how to treat that our options were to either use platelet-rich plasma or platelet-poor plasma. There's data out there now that suggests that platelet-poor plasma for muscle injuries makes more sense and so that's what we use in her case. Regarding the platelet-rich plasma we used in her actual tendon we ended up going with a very high concentration or 14 times normal concentration um, because there is, again, some evidence from the Regenics Network that a very high concentration of platelets for tendon tears can do a better job than low concentration. So there are a few takeaways from this. Using orthobiologics in regenerative medicine, uh, in other words, using the products, uh, the biologic products that we use to treat musculoskeletal conditions, is a... Um, really fine art. It's a matter of utilizing the right tools for the right condition for the right person. It's a very specialized and personalized approach to treatment. So in her case, we use a specific dosage of platelets to get the best response. Uh, we ended up layering one biologic treatment on top of a prior biologic treatment. We ended up combining this with an amniotic fluid product as well for her specific case. And we also ended up using platelet-poor plasma for her muscle condition um, rather than just dumping in more platelet-rich plasma. I think those kind of nuances are what this specialty is about. And make no mistake, this is definitely a specialty in and of itself. In order to get the best response for our patients, it's a matter of really being dedicated and highly specialized. And hopefully in her case, uh, we can get her the rest of the way um, in terms of getting back to her full function as well as to completely hear, heal her partial thickness tear. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for your time and live well.